Hey guys, how you doing? VT Maestro here. Hope all is well. Well, I'm coming at you today with a modification for a second generation Chevy Volt power supply EVSE charger. And uh, what I found out through doing a little research online is that you can take the stock charger, which does 110 volt charging, and go ahead and modify it to do uh, 220 volt charging on a 220 volt or 240 volt circuit. Instead of spending three or four or five hundred dollars on a charger, I found out that you can just put a new plug on the end of the power supply and adapt it to 220 volt charging. And there is no modification of the charger itself. You do not have to open it up and change anything. This is actually a Clipper Creek charger, the insides of the circuit board, and it's all set up for 220 volt charging. You just have to get the power to it. And by doing that, you change out the end here. In this case, I'm not going to cut off the end, I'm just going to make an adapter for it to hook into a 240 volt circuit. So I just got back from Lowe's and I bought some supplies here. I got some heat shrink tube. I got some 12-2 wire, and I got an L15 receptacle, and an L630 plug. I actually have an L630 receptacle in my garage. You may have something different in your charging spot. You may have a traditional uh, receptacle that goes to a electric dryer or a welder. In my case, I just have an L630. So let me go ahead and put this together and I'll come back and show you how this works. All right, so I got my ends on. Pigtail is complete. It's about 18 inches in length. Got the L630P. And here I have an L15. Essentially what happens is I have two hots. Instead of a hot and a neutral, I have two hots in the ground and over here, which is standard, I have a ground and two hots. So let's go upstairs and try this out on the 2016 Chevy Volt. All right guys, so I'm up in the garage. This is where we charge our car. And uh, you can see I got the L630 receptacle and here's my new plug, pigtail going over here. And here's where the stock charger for, for uh, the Volt plugs in. And here's the charger right here. I just have to go ahead and mount that. So let's go ahead and turn things on. I do have a switch here that I can turn the charger off and on. So let's go ahead and turn that on, see what happens here. All right, so we have the fault light and the green light. So right now it's running off 240. That's a cool sign. So let's go ahead, grab my uh, charger here. Let's go out to the Volt and plug in, see what happens, all right? So, so modified stock um, Volt charger, generation two, 2016. Chevy Volt. See what's going on here. So we got the lights. All right, so we got four lights flashing right now, and everything looks good. I just checked the uh, state of the charge for the car on the app, and it looks like uh, I'm at about 77%. We just came back from a short trip. So I'm pretty psyched about this. Seems to be working really well. What I'm gonna do next is pull apart the uh, receptacle outlet all right, so I've gone ahead and pulled the receptacle out while everything's plugged in. I did uh, shut it down first before I did that. And you see I got my uh, amp meter here. And we're gonna read, take some readings here. So kiddos, don't try this at home here. But I'm gonna go ahead, I got it zeroed out. Let's see what we're pulling here. Looks like it's getting closer to 12 amps. Yep, we're on the threshold of 12 amps. That's on one leg. And the other leg should be roughly the same here. Go ahead, take this off. Let's check the other leg. Be really careful here, I'm touching terminals. And the other leg, just pulling over 12.4, 12 12.4 12 amps, 12.3 amps, slashing in between the two. All right, so I'm pulling 12. Point Four amps. All right, guys. So you can see that uh, this works on 240, and uh, I'm going to monitor and charge with care in the next week or so, and uh, 
monitor this to make sure there's no issues. I did notice that the cord that goes out to the car gets warm. So that needs to be monitored and uh, want to make sure I'm going to do some more research and make sure the cord is actually large enough to handle the 240 current, the 12 amps that it's pushing through at 240. So this is the mod you can do, but I want to make sure that uh, this is something you do at your own risk. I take no responsibility if you destroy your charger, the car, or hurt yourself or even kill yourself. I'm not responsible. I'm just passing along information that I found that other people have come up with. All right, guys. So it's actually a couple of weeks later. I want to wrap up this video and show you what I've done and how the system has been performing. So with that said, it's actually been performing excellent. I have no complaints or no issues with the system so far. Went ahead and mounted the EVSE, the charger, and uh, I also went ahead and zip tied uh, the uh, L15 to the uh, receptacle coming out of the charger. The reason I zip tied the receptacle to the new L15 is that I do not want anything else plugged into that since both legs of this are hot. It's only for this uh, charger and nothing else. So you can't unplug it, you can't plug anything into it. So that's a safety feature I came up with. If I need to unplug the charger, I can just unplug it right here. Twist and turn. So there we go. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video again. This is done at your own risk. Uh, I take no responsibility and this is not my own idea. I actually found it on the gmvolt.com forum with uh, credit going out to Chris uh, TX, the user Chris TX. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do. Subscribe, like, big thumbs up is always appreciated. Leave a comment and we'll catch you next time.